Hi. I would like to talk to you about something you said in my mind. Um, uh, yesterday I had to skip church because um, I still have my, had my call and it was like freaking freezing out there. And it was like very, very unhealthy and it was like uh, I could have got on a ride with somebody, but I didn't want to because I, as I didn't want to communicate communicate my cold with anybody, it just, uh, uh, I mean, and I'm spending the day entirely by myself, it just, uh, just, just trying, just trying to get through the day, and just, uh, I mean, and reading the Bible, and just, uh, also, also reading a bit of Harry Potter, and just, uh, uh. So, what do I want to talk about today, um, uh, how about, uh, how, how about the, uh, term Christian, which is, uh, term that, um, basically has been used since, like, uh, since the early church days, uh, and when it was um, basically used as a derogatory name for um, people who were um, followers of Jesus Christ, uh, when when the uh, af after the Pentecost, when uh, Holy Spirit came down and uh, anointed uh, Peter and his uh, fellow apostles and all those who were gathered in the upper room and just, uh, and again, sp speaking other tongues and Peter preached a message that got about 3,000 people saved uh, and, uh, and 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 this um this way, we, we, which would become known as Christianity, would uh, would spread spread throughout the uh, area of Judea and um, the uh, pretty pretty much area of Israel and its uh, and, and access that they were first called Christians in Antioch. I mean, which is a pretty important place. I mean, this, this is where the uh, where where the apostles would get gather together. I mean, for for like um, for meetings and such you know, to figure out the direction of the uh, church uh, under under uh, le under leadership of God through Jesus Christ. And uh, just just thinking about that ter term um, being being used in a derogatory sense uh, there are, there are people who do who still who still use that term in, in a derogatory sense basically because uh, basically because the name, name Christian has been, uh, na name Christian basically been um, misused by people who claim to follow Christ, but in their in their um, acts they um, they, they um, just really don't know him. Just uh, it's like they were so religious minded. Uh, it was like what what they what they say. Uh, And um, in Titus, cha Titus cha chapter one, uh, they profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him, being an abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work they are reprobate. And it's like, and um, it says 
says in uh, what I think it's uh, let me guess uh, what one of the one Paul's letters to Tim, Timothy is that um, I think. Yeah, second second Timothy um, chapter three verse five is the same, saying that they have a form of godliness, but they deny the power of thereof, and and it's from such people that we need to turn away from. I mean, they're just they're just people that call themselves Christians, but um, but they but they just really don't know 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 him fully. I mean, and, and that's, um, those are people that, um, Jesus is going to, going to say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work iniquity. And, however, uh, name Christian, uh, should not be something that we should be ashamed of. I mean, Peter uh, says this in uh, says this in um, First Peter um, chapter four verse sixteen. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on his behalf. For for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God, and if it first begin at us, what should be the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. I mean... We shouldn't be ashamed of uh, being 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 called uh, by by the name of Christ I mean that, um, if we want to identify ourselves as being being like Christ we should do so um, not just in name only but also in deed and word and in truth I mean I mean we should basically model our lives after Jesus' life. I mean, I mean those, who, those who claim to know him must walk even as he walked. I mean, and just, uh, yeah, we should basically study the life of Jesus and see, see what he did and see how we can model our lives after him. And, and Paul the Apostle said, says to, says to uh, the Corinthians that you should, should imitate him even as he imitates Christ. I mean, yeah. Well, that if um, we see a godly leader that, uh, that truly imitates Christ, we should follow them as they, as they themselves follow Christ. I mean, and we should carefully study people's lives, I mean, th those that claim to be Christians, to um, see if they truly are following Christ. And, and John, and John um, in his first epistle says that, that we shouldn't believe every spirit, but we should test the spirits to see if they are from God, because there are many false prophets that go, go out into the world, and this is how you know that, um, that, that they are from that they are from God, uh, that every spirit that confesses that uh, Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that does not confess that um, is not of God, and that is the spirit of the Antichrist. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to um, share with you in this video, so have a good day, and may God bless you.